Question number 18. Calculate 509 times by 24. Now, because we're multiplying by a number bigger than 10, this is the sort of calculation that we usually refer to as long multiplication. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a method called the magic zero method, which will become clear as we go on. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to actually set this calculation up. So we set it up like this, 509 multiplied by 24. Now the next thing you need to do is you will need three lines for your working out. So let's put those three lines in. Now that we've got those three lines in, we need to multiply 509 by this 4 here. And that will go on the top line. So we're going to do 4 lots of 9, 4 lots of 0, and 4 lots of 5 in that order. So let's start with 4 lots of 9. 4 9s are 36. Put your 6 in, carry the 3. 4 lots of 0 is 0, plus the 3 is 3. 4 lots of 5 is 20. Put your 0 in, carry your 2. But because we've finished with our columns now, that 2 can just go straight in. So 4 lots of 509 is 2036. The next line is where we're going to multiply 509 by 20, because this is 24. But any time you multiply by 20, it's the same as putting the magic zero in first and then multiplying by 2. So now we've put this zero in for the 20, we just need to multiply by 2. So we're going to do two nines, two zeros, and two fives in that order. Two nines, two zeros, two fives. So first thing is two nines. Two nines are 18. Put the 8 in, carry the 1. Two zeros are zero, plus the one is one, and two fives are ten. Put your zero in, carry your one. But because we've finished with the columns, that one can just go straight in. So 20 lots of 509 is 10,180. Now on the final line, all we need to do is add these two answers together, because this answer in blue is 4 lots of 509 and this answer in pink is 20 lots of 509 and if we put the two together we will have 24 lots of 509 which is what we're actually trying to find so we just need to add them together now so 6 plus 0 is 6 3 plus 8 is 11 put the 1 in carry the 1 0 plus 1 plus the 1 I carried was 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. And then I've just got a 1 on the end here, so that's 1. So my final answer should be 12,216. And that's what I need to show as my answer. 12,216. The final point on this is that you've got to be very, very careful when you're adding up at the end. Be careful that you don't include any of these numbers that you've already included earlier on in the calculation. So this little number here we didn't need, this number we don't need, this we don't need because we've already included them earlier on. The only things that we should be carrying is any carrying in the in the final calculation. So your final answer twelve thousand two hundred and sixteen.